Ronaldo, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Stream Dark Cloud 2. Now, you guys might be wondering what I'm doing in Vinicio when we're technically on the final boss's doorstep. Uh, there's a couple of things I need to do before engaging in the final boss fight. Uh, the first of which is, if you'll recall, I don't know if it was last time or the episode before that. I want to say it was last time. Yeah, you did beat Koopo for once. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you'll recall last time, we actually got the final photography level. So, we want to dig for a scoop, and Donnie will give us our final prize. The Sun Badge. Which is actually the final badge in the game. We now have every single one. Now, as far as what these do, I believe I mentioned before, the Moon Badge lets you stay transformed for longer. The Sun Badge increases your attack and defense stats, which is irrelevant because I don't use monster transformations. Uh, you'll also notice I grabbed Priest Bruno from uh, Balance Valley. This is an especially important uh, for the final boss gauntlet because if any or if either one of your main characters dies and you have no way of resurrecting them, you're frankly screwed. We're just going to take a walk here through the garden, admire our work. And there's one more thing we need to do before fighting the final boss, and that's claiming all of the Giorama rewards. Enjoy the sight and the scenery and the music, because chances are once we step inside, we won't be hearing it again. So, we need to go ahead and gather. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to gather all of the miracle chests that are here in the foyer. Thankfully, they're all in relatively easy to find spots. And it's also a, relatively speaking, small area. I want to say the only area where Miracle Chests can spawn that is smaller than this is the Jurak Mall. So, and once we've finished the final boss, uh, yeah, the final boss fight, we can't come back here and get these. So we definitely want to get these now. everything down. Actually, let me check behind the stairs. Might be something there. Yep. Yeah. Now, you can't just, like, walk under the stairs. There's an invisible wall here, so we gotta go around. Aww. That's awesome, hon. I can't wait for you to share it once you got it. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yep. <laughs> All right, hon. Anyway, we have a bunch of items to use. Monica has slightly more HP, so... Yeah, they're about equal, so...
Yeah, we got one extra Fruit of Eden. Um, I'm going to give this one to Monica. Yeah, so she's still slightly ahead in the HP department, but that will balance itself out. So, all right. Now, we're not going to be fighting the final boss yet. I do want to get my health back from using those Fruits of Eden. Thankfully, this room here counts as part of the dungeon, so we can just leave. Wait a minute, I think you may have told me about this one earlier, hon. Alright, so let me think here. I think I have everything I need. So, yeah, we should be good to go. Alright, so, point of no return warning, if there's anything you want to do in the future areas, like shopping, or uh, any look around for any items or scoops you may have missed, now's the time to get them. Because once you finish the final boss, you can't come back here, and you can't go back to any of the future areas. I think we're good, so we can head in. Listen well. If you wish to see my master, you must first speak his true name. And we know his name is Cyrus. That is correct. You may pass. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to leave real quick just so I can save, and then we'll come back in. So the important thing to note with uh, this being the final boss, this final boss is a veritable gauntlet, and if you die at any point during it, you need to start all the way from the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and save here just to save a little bit of time on the incredibly uh, slim off chance that I actually die to this guy. I just want to check the scoop memo. I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything. We should have one unknown and Legend of the Moon left. Yeah, we're good. So we've gotten every scoop up to this point. So, all right, folks, let's go in to the sun chamber. Okay, so we want to start with Max, and the first thing we want to do is you actually want to make sure you're targeting Griffin. He's got all three of the Atlamelia flying around him. Uh, those purely exist to throw off your targeting reticle. Uh, you can't damage them, and basically, oof. Basically, we just want to use the, uh, the supernova and shoot at Griffin. Okay, here we just want to guard, because it's really hard to dodge all of these.
Alexander, we have to run. Our enemies are almost here. As you get through the various phases of the fight, the game will telegraph his phase changes with these memories. No. You go alone, Cyrus. I'll stay behind. No, I won't do that. You'll be killed! Please, Cyrus, just do as I say. I am queen of this land. Whatever may happen, I must live as this country lives and die as this country dies. That is my role. Now go, Cyrus, please. No. No! Alexandra! All right. Oof. All right, so what we want to do is basically just get him locked like this. You can skip that phase real easy. Alexandra. The humans started attacking and killing each other, just for a few shiny stones. But when they gathered all the stones together... Alexandra... You knew this would happen, didn't you? Those humans... It would be better if they never existed. If only it had been just you and me from the beginning. That's just creepy, Cyrus. Oops. That Alexander herself is a human. We're not done yet, though. Now, one thing I will make a suggestion for here. Yeah, details, details. Yeah, one thing I will make a suggestion for here, if you plan on using Max, uh, do not use the Ride Pod. Emperor Griffin is one of the two enemies in the entire game that actually takes less damage from Ride Pod attacks. But yeah, once you get him on the ground, he goes down like a chunk. humans. Alexandra. Alexandra. What they did to you. They make war. They kill each other. They involve people who have nothing to do with them just to get the power of the stones. They don't deserve to live. It's natural that they be wiped out. I'm not the bad one. It's not me. They're to blame. I just wanted to be with you a little longer. That's all. That's all I wanted. It's true that humans have strong desires. And they often make mistakes when they try to fulfill those desires. But humans also possess something very important. I think that even you know what that is, Cyrus. You've been watching this whole time, haven't you? You've seen the boy on his journey. You realized a long time ago that you are wrong this time. The precious thing they have inside them, it's something that must not be destroyed. Something that must be passed on. Remember back, Cyrus. 
Remember that you have an important role in life. You must remember. Alexandra, I don't understand. I just don't understand. Okay, so I just want to bring something up here, just pointing out some narrative stuff that I really like about this. Uh, Cyrus's reason for wanting to kill everyone. They make war. Hmm. I mean, there's a whole, like, resistance group fighting against you because of your atrocities. They kill each other. Um, you hired Gaspard or ordered him to it's assassinate King Raybrand. So, yeah, you've killed people, indirectly and directly both. And uh, involving people who have nothing to do with them. You're the main reason that Max got pulled into this. So, yeah. Gotta love it when the villain makes their own hypocrisy. Evil made flesh. Now. Wrong game, Koopo. That's not gonna work here.
Okay, so the fight with Griffin himself was basically part one of the final boss. This is part two. It's a gauntlet of mini bosses in this area known as the Spiral of Dreams, which is where this music track gets its name from. As you can see, this place is about as surreal as it gets. I forget, can I take a picture of the moon from here or do I have to do that during the boss fight? Let's see. No, I think I have to do that during the boss fight in order for that to count. Now, if any of my abilities had heal, uh, these long passageways here that we have to, or these, I, I don't even know if you call these passageways, these long egresses, I guess, is the only other way I can think of to say it. These would be an ideal time to kind of take it slow and let the healing ability regenerate your health, but as it stands, we're going to have to rely on drain from our melee weapons and uh, consumables, since I don't have passive healing on either of my ranged weapons yet. Nightmare. He certainly looks nightmarish. Eyes do not belong there. But basically all of these are... Basically just boss, mini boss palette swaps of all of the, uh, or most of the, like, really notable large enemies. Like, uh, we had an Elphys at the bottom. That's a memo eater. Uh, I think next is either going to be... I want to say it's the Bone Lords next? It's either the Bone Lords or the Dragon that's next, because there's five, technically six. Uh, one of the boss fights is a two-on-one. next? The dragon. Okay. But yeah, as far as abilities go, uh, all of these enemies have the exact same, or these bosses, rather, have the exact same abilities as their regular enemy counterparts. Uh, it's not like the Blue Underpants case, where Lapis Garter can pierce through your guard, whereas regular Yo-Yo Barrels cannot, and the uh, other variants of said enemy. Alright, so I want to switch to Max, because the next couple of bosses are his territory. Okay, this is the Arthur one, yeah, Servant of Dreams Uther. This one I'll Ride Pod, because, uh, yeah, they don't drop ABS, so I don't care how I kill him. So Ride Pod's going to be the best way to deal with this idiot. And this will probably be the only time I use the Ride Pod during uh, the final bosses here. Or at least use the Ride Pod for attacking purposes. I will have the Ride Pod tank a few hits here and there uh, during the actual final boss if I really need to in a pinch. Because the, um, I'm pretty sure the Ride Pod has both the HP and the defense to actually survive it. Yeah, because that's 114. It still has more defense than Max and Monica do, and more HP. 
So in a pinch, there's a really, really nasty attack that if I think I'm going to get hit by it, I can swap to the ride pod to have it take the hit for me. But that's about as much as I'm going to be using the ride pod for past Uther. So this should be the dual boss coming up next. Gaha Ai and Gaha Zwei. These are basically Bone Lords. They're not special. If I can, I'd like to get them together to where they stop doing the projectile attack. Gotcha! Okay. I need y'all to get grouped up again. That's one of them dead. the last one once we actually get up to the top here it'll be the actual final part of the final boss where we fight off against dark element itself yep i meant to pause there but i can pause in the beginning of the fight and work it out just the same So the first thing I want to do is make sure my weapons are fully repaired. Because the nasty thing and the sort of gimmick with this boss in particular, I also want to go ahead and use a double pudding, make sure everyone's maxed out. It's just more convenient that way. And uh, this is on a five minute timer. So we have to kill this guy in five minutes. That's his first gimmick. Uh, his second gimmick is that you'll see his core will change color. When it's red, you have to use Monica. Yeah, you have to use Monica when his core is red. Okay, core is blue, switch to max. See, his attacks hurt. Woo, I'm lucky that didn't kill me. Uh... Now, the ride pod will also work if his core is blue. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've died. So, yeah. So, this is why I brought Priest Bruno along. 
Okay. So instead of wasting a resurrection powder, we're just gonna use Priest Bruno's ability here. There we go. Now that can only work once. Yeah, you can see he he hits hard, especially through guards. Okay, so this, I wanna switch to Max. And you wanna pay attention to where he's kinda showing up. He's over there. So this is probably his most dangerous attack. He's going to fire, okay. Okay, he's gonna fire that huge beam. He fires it in a straight line, but if you get hit by that, that's a good 200 damage or so. So yeah, definitely wanna make sure I have the ride pot out for that attack in particular. So in case I somehow get grazed by it, I can uh, have the ride pod tank the hit for me. So, All right, so you wanna be careful uh, with the arrows because uh, not only can they pierce your guard sometimes, uh, they can randomly inflict status effects on you, such as poison, stuff. I believe they can curse you. Gotcha. Plenty of time. attacks were hitting through my guard with Max when Monica could block them just fine. Oh, crap. I just realized something. I need to redo that because I forgot to take a picture of the moon. Whoops. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Let's see. I was so busy, like, actually going over the uh, whole thing with the boss fight that I forgot about the scoop. My bad. Let's see, blue ISO. Okay, <laughs> throw the bonks at me, throw the bonks. I deserve the bonking for that. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> See, that's why I saved. Thankfully, we've seen all the cutscenes already, though. Yes, thank you, I need that good, I need a good bonking for that. You too, Star, you will bonk me as well. Yeah, we can skip all the cutscenes and get back to where we were. No problem. The Bark of Matic 1000, 9001. Uh oh. Gentle bonk? I think I deserve a bit of a harder bonk for that kind of goof. Yeah, gentle bonk to crush your boyfriend, and it's not hard bonk worthy. I don't know. That's a pr that was a pretty big goof. Oh well, I suppose if I have to miss any scoop, the final boss, well fitting, was probably the worst one to miss. Cause now I gotta work through all this to get back.
not German level bonk. I beg to differ, but okay. Okay, can't skip that. Actually, hang on. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think some of Monica's monster forms actually move faster than she does. Um, the pixie, I think, moves pretty fast. Yeah. yeah we can use the pixie here to uh, speed through this at least a little bit. Unfortunately, with this being a spiral, diagonal running's a little bit awkward. Dream Level Bonk is walking over the bone three or four times in Faz. I mean, I'm not blind. I mean, I am blind, but not that bad. Now, the nice thing about this is since we chose the pixie manually, uh, when we use the monster shortcut, it'll just automatically select the last one we used. So we can do this to speed through. I'm just gonna take your word for it. Because <laughs> I, I think that was a pretty big goof. Couldn't get away fast enough. Ooh. Not a hard bonk worthy goof. Well, thank you, sweetie. Koopa, would you be willing to compensate and uh, bonk me hard in his place? No, look what you've done. You've made the Moogle sad. just a miss.
Let's repair our stuff before we go up there. Use the double pudding now. Got the camera. Let's see, full health, full weapons. Let's get that scoop. All right, so we want to take a picture of that Legend of the Moon. He's going for the beam. Where is he? He's behind me. Yep, there he is. Gotcha! And we got the scoop this time! for a minute, folks. It's a little stuffy in here. inside me. Then again, it was probably me who created it in the first place. At last, it's all over. Alexandra, I remember. I remembered what I have to do. I know what was passed on to me in my memory. How to stop the Star of Oblivion. Well, that's convenient. It. 
The ancient ones told my ancestors how to stop the Star of Oblivion, but that memory was locked away. My family has passed down that knowledge from generation to generation. One day, when humans became worthy, the Star of Oblivion was to be stopped. That is my role and my purpose. At last, that time has come. Now there is no need for the Blue Moon. Moon! You have fulfilled your purpose. Return to the dust that bore you. Alexandra, this is what you meant, isn't it? Congratulations, Cyrus. You were... you were magnificent. Kath Susie. Alexandra. Thank you. You opened my eyes. been waiting for this moment time to say farewell goodbye my friends So, beneath it all, Cyrus was just a nice little boy with a huge responsibility. So big, he almost couldn't handle it. But now he's finally going to a place he can call home. Yeah, thanks to Cyrus, the world can go on without being destroyed ever again. The ruler of darkness, Emperor Griffin. There never really was such a person. Except, you know, we've had to fight him. He was just a mass illusion created by the evil in men's hearts. Wow, that's pretty deep, Max. Kind of poetic, really. Well, <laughs> you know. We've sure been through a lot, but I guess it's over. There's only one moon in the sky now. Yeah, and so it begins. A new era bathed in the light of a single moon. Ugh, that's laying it on a bit thick. But will people ever believe there was once two moons? They might. People can lock their special memories in their hearts. But at some point, they just forget to take them out again. This incredible adventure that we all shared, one day, it may too end up being forgotten. That's what VODs are for. The people in the future will likely forget many things. The fact that I was here, and also that long ago, two moons shined down from the starry sky. See, there you go.
It's time for us to say goodbye too, eh, Max? It was fun traveling with you. I will never forget you. And Max, you'd better not forget me either. Don't worry. I won't forget you, Monica. Or my journey. Or how we fought together. I could never forget any of that. Well, good then. I consider it a true honor to have met you, Max. That goes for me as well. Max, you were wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Mother. It's time to say goodbye, Max. Be strong, my son. I will. And I'm not going to cry. I've seen lots of tears shed lately. And it's made me a stronger person. Max, there was so much I wanted to tell you. And there was so much I wanted to hear about you. I'm so sorry. I know. I'll write you a letter, Mother. I'll put in it everything that happened on our adventure. Then I'll hide the letter right here. So that it'll reach you even in the future. Mother... Yes, I look forward to that. Mother, I'm so happy that I was able to meet you. Always be good to yourself, Max. Goodbye, my heart. Mother! This journey was like some kind of dream. Castles floating in the air, moons becoming one. Yeah, just like a dream. Hmm, you're right. Your journey was just a dream. Huh? There's always been just one moon. All this may just have been a long, long dream shown to us humans by the ancients to warn us. A dream, huh? Yeah, right. Well, Mother, it turned out a little long, but... This is finally the end of my letter. We really had an amazing adventure. But it was a lot of fun, too. After all, I managed to meet you and Monica. Finally, this is our true goodbye. Please, Mother, don't forget about me. Take care. I'll be here in my time, doing fine. Farewell. To my future... Mother. Take my chances, race and time, be riding the bull for all to see. On my own, I can ride the winds of change.
Sorry, I went quiet. I just like that song. And despite what this says here, this is not the end. Normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I'd have a uh, separate file for this, but for the let's play I'll do this. Uh, have a separate chapter 8 uh, start file. So you save that there, and then if you hit continue, you can start here and begin the post game. Because our adventure is far from over. Hey, Max, I've made a decision. About what? Well, I've decided I'm going to revitalize the whole area. How are you going to do that without the carpenterian? 
And the first step is to expand the Blackstone Railroad to cover all of it. What do you reckon, Max? Will you help? I mean, considering the Blackstone Railroad tracks only go up to Heimrata, I believe, which is also a bit of a plot hole because you saw um, the entire like railroad crew at Kazarov at the end there. How would we have gotten back? Because there's no tracks there. Yeah, of course. Okay, then, I've got a favor to ask. I want you to go to the mine and search out some Zelmite, which we need for fuel. Some Zelmite? Even if we lay the tracks, we don't have enough Zelmite for the train to run. Yeah, we'll have enough to move between the other areas we've already opened that the train can actually go to, so don't worry about that. I feel like somewhere in Palm Mine, there's a huge deposit waiting to be discovered. And I want you to look for it. Okay, I got it. You know the way into the mine, don't you? It's in the park. I'll have it open for you, so go and have a look. I'm counting on you, Max. Chapter 8, The Forgotten Adventure. in Palm Brick. So chapter 8 changes a few things. Noticeably, uh, no, one thing you'll notice is that uh, Max, uh, Max here has a little gold locket around his neck now. Now uh, you'll also notice on the world map we can't go to Kazarov and we can't go to Moonflower Palace anymore. So this is why I went ahead and got all of the Speeda in Moonflower Palace taken care of. Uh, you'll also notice we can't go to any of the future areas anymore either. Uh, like say for example I go to Heimrata here. Uh, once I get in, you'll notice the time gate's gone. However, to accommodate for that, uh, merchants have had their stocks expanded. Uh, most notably, one NPC in particular who is a merchant has had their stock greatly expanded. Which, uh, is not Eric. But, um... I'm just going to go ahead and do, like, the routine stuff here, since enough time has passed. I believe we actually look in our inventory. Yeah, since Monica's not in our party, all of the amulets that she was wearing uh, are in our bag now, so... Um, that should be fine. Okay, so unfortunately it's the fishing contest right now, not Finny Frenzy. Not that we can do Finny Frenzy yet, but we'll be doing that soonish. Yeah, we have new uh, dialogue from pretty much everybody. Grade zero doesn't need fixing. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. So I actually want to go ahead and take a look at all of the merchants to see what their stock has to offer. Because uh, these will be the only merchants we have access to from here on. So let's see, how has your stock expanded? Okay, yours hasn't expanded at all, because, uh, yeah, you still, the best thing you have is still the Wildcat, but that's not a huge deal. I don't think Granny Rosa's, uh, stock has expanded either, because there's only so many amulets in the game, and she sells all of them. So, yeah, there's no reason for her stock to expand. I don't think Gordon's stock expands either, because, uh, the biggest expansion he gets is the Plum Rice Ball. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some more cheese. Or, uh, not cheese. Uh, bread. Ended up using a lot of my stockpile during that fight there. Legend of the Moon. I don't know if 
if Donnie would have a new scoop for us yet, because there's only one left. Let's see. Not good enough to have it, but now you do. It's just plenty of Oh, you. Okay, so, yeah, no new scoops from Donnie yet, but we are getting there. There's only one scoop left, and he may not want to give it to us right now, but he will give it to us eventually. Oh, right, Donnie Mart. Um, I think he might just sell some extra clothes, and that's about it. I don't think you sell anything new. No, you will always sell premium chicken, and premium chicken only. And then, let's see... Harm just sells paint. I don't think Priest Bruno has anything new because he sells all the status cure items. Well, most of them. He doesn't sell heartthrob cherries. I think Malayne's stock might have expanded. Now, Malayne shares her stock data with the weapon shop in Palm Brinks. So what you see her have here, the weapon shop in town will also have. So let's see. Do you have anything new? Okay, you've got some clothing, but that's about it. Hmm. Now, you guys will be seeing a lot more of Sindane in Chapter 8 for one really big reason. Because there's one merchant in particular that I know has had their stock massively expanded in a very, very nice way. And they so happen to live here. I bet you guys probably don't remember him because we just kind of stuck him in a house and just kind of forgot he existed because there was no reason to talk to him ever since we put him in. But now we have reason to talk to Rufio. Now, I believe at first uh, he only sells you like the basic Giorama elements. However, if you talk to him now, he takes over as the uh, star item shop place to buy elemental crystals from. And he sells every crystal type. So from now on, when it comes to building up weapons, I'll be coming here. All right, so I want to go grab Cedric real quick. Let me check my weapons here. Yeah, these are not upgraded at all, so... Let's go grab Cedric and get to work on these weapons of ours, because we still need to get them to plus five to maximize their points. I do want to look at the Chapter 7 Inventions. You'll notice we have the Blackstone 1 back, so no more Ixion for us. So if you missed anything in the Ixion photo-wise, too bad. Can't get it now. So let's see. Let's start making some stuff. I don't think there's much left. I think it's mostly Ride Pod stuff. But let's take a look. Okay, Chapter 7. Okay, Flower Chandelier, Moonflower Palace, and Waterfall Curtain. All the way to the top here. Okay, so Moonflower Palace. Waterfall Curtain. And Flower Chandelier. Do I not have flower chandelier? Wait a minute. I think... I don't think that's in the... If I'm not mistaken. No, flower chair is what's in the... Um, in the Palm Brink station. Okay, well, I missed one. Whoops. I imagine that's probably in Alexandra's room and I just didn't find it. But uh, this isn't important. All this is is a pair of boots. 
which we can actually buy these boots later. So if we cared, we don't need to invent it. Uh, let's see. But yeah, that's the princess boots. So not a huge deal. Let's see. I hope I didn't miss anything important. Okay, sun chair, sun table, and the sun. Say cheese! Level up powder! Yes, we can actually make these now. The problem is that you need three very expensive items to make one of these. You need a diamond, an experience coin, and a final bomb. So, yeah, no, not gonna be making that. Let's see. Next is fruit, hot spring spirit, and lotus flower. separate thing. I'm curious about this now. Hang on. Fruit. Where is that? Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I actually can get this one. I need to go to the Nikio to get it. Let's see. I somehow missed this. I don't know how, but I did. Thankfully, I actually have one of these, so I can actually get this photo. Somehow, I forgot this was here. Yeah, we actually need to take a picture of these coconuts. This is actually a pretty powerful item if you needed to make one. So let's see. Fruit, hot spring spirit, and lotus flower. Lotus flower. we can make resurrection powder. Okay, so the next one, this is also something we can invent, but there's really no reason to. Let's see, Lunastone Shards, Mud, and Stardust Pond. a blue jerry can. What do you need to make that anyway? Uh, poison improved bomb and stamina drink? Why the heck do you need a bomb for that? Let's see. Golden door, labyrinth door, and sun chamber gatekeeper. Labyrinth door? Where the heck is labyrinth door? Uh, I don't think I have that, do I? Labyrinth door? No, I don't. Where is that? Golden door, weapon door, some chamber gatekeeper. I'm pretty sure I have golden door. Where is labyrinth door? I don't think I've ever found that. Let's see. flower doors that we run through in Moonflower Palace, uh, you can take a picture of the one in the sun chamber right before Griffin's final, like the final door, where you have to enter in Cyrus's name. That particular flower door counts as labyrinth door. Okay. 
No wonder I've never found it. I've never thought to take a picture of that one in particular, because taking a picture of it elsewhere doesn't work. Now, I like that I'm learning new stuff every time. Let's see, but yeah, that just makes a treasure chest key, so we get so many of those, it's not an issue. Let's see. Now, ride pod parts. This is what's important. I hope I have enough stuff to actually make all this. Let's see. Deerhorn, Flower of the Sun, and Work Arm. That's that one made. Next one is Moon Column Power Arm and Tiny Hammer. This next one is something I actually really do want. This is Candle Firehouse and Relaxation Town. Yeah, it works! The Jet Hover. That is the ultimate ride pod, like, foot part. Let's see. Next is... Energy Pipe, Relaxation Fountain, and Search Light. Laser Arm 3, and there's one more we can make. We can actually go ahead and make the immediate upgrade to that, which is Blue Lantern, Energy Pipe, and Legend of the Moon. Okay, this one's also pretty important. This is one I want as well. Moon Column, Stove, and the Sun. Yeah, it works! The Nova Cannon 3. We're definitely going to be wanting that. Next is Deerhorn, Moon Column, and Weapon. for ride pod parts. Let's see if there's any weapons we can make. Elena's portrait, flower bathed in light, and rifle.
Say cheese. The sexy panther. Now, Max, because a portrait of your mother is one of the items that you need in order to craft this idea, that's just creepy. Let's see. Flower chandelier, Jurax nose, and rifle. Oh, I don't have flower chandelier, right. Okay, so for this one, this would make the twin buster, which is the penultimate grenade launcher, if you care. Let's see. And that's the last one. Okay. So there's still a couple items left that we can make, but we don't have the necessary photos to actually make them yet. So what I am going to do is look at what we need to make the Nova Cannon 3 and the Jet Hub. So let's see. I can actually make that now. One jet hover and the Nova Cannon 3, I need 74 holy elements for. Alright, let's go talk to Konda and we should be able to get what we need from him. Oh right, I forgot to get fishing bait from Fabio. Not that it really matters at this point. See, I think I need 74 holy elements, if that's what it said. Ah, I think I need a little bit more than that. Or is it 99 that it needs? It's 99, okay. And because we've got the maxed out core, we can equip anything on here. So, yep, we're good. Here, I might as well get the fishing bait. Sorry, I kept forgetting it. should be good to go to actually check out the Zelmite Mine. Now, we don't actually know where the Zelmite Mine is physically. We've walked past it a whole bunch of times early on in the adventure, but uh, never really had any reason to really pay attention to it. So if you want to get to the Zelmite Mine, you need to go up towards the park, where we had to recruit Fabio, run to the boat for Sheriff Blinkhorn, and when we had to go and recruit Dr. Dell to help Lynn. It's up in this area. And you'll notice there's this huge just kind of opening here. If you tried coming in here before, there's a bunch of wooden barricades blocking your way. But now that we're in Chapter 8 and we can actually go in here, we can go into the dungeon itself. Now, I just want to point this out. This dungeon is huge, multiple branching paths, lots of really difficult monsters, and just, it's big. Largest dungeon in the game. There is Sphita here, despite the fact that we've stopped Griffin, so time shouldn't be getting strained anymore, but there is Sphita here. Very important Sphita at that. So, without further ado, let's get the Zelmite. Now, as for the Zelmite mine itself and Sphita, um, it's about as easy as uh, Moonflower Palace in terms of doing the actual speeder. Okay, sweetie, you go, you go to bed, okay? You saw the important stuff. It's just going to be uh, dungeon crawling from here out. But anyway, so now we're in the Zelmite Mine. Um, some info on the Zelmite Mine. The gate key is the trolley oil, I believe is what it's called. And the secondary key is the old key or rusty key or something like that. But the nice thing about Chapter 8 is we don't have to listen to the dark battle for the battle theme anymore. We have the regular one. But we also have new, more powerful enemies. You see, one hit from that guy took 66 off of me. So yeah, very nasty place. The strongest enemies in the game are here. And they're only going to get stronger. 
So this enemy here is a fairy helper. This is a smiling fairy, basically. Nothing special here. As long as you're not stupid and careless like me, you can avoid getting hurt. Or robber, that's basically a Corsair. Let me actually check the fish. Fish, what are your parameters? You need three more. Okay, so yeah, this will be the last one we actually have to feed you. So, here, have a carrot. And yes, that was the right thing to do. Right, or robbers or Corsairs, you've seen what they do, so not a threat. As you can see, as well, we're doing this with Max only, no Monica, so we have to be really careful. Ah, the map, perfect. Oh. There's a thing back here. And Whitebeard! Whitebeard is the captain equivalent here. See, these guys got a lot of HP. But thankfully, our weapons still have room for growth, so we're not going to be uh, wanting for uh, damage potential. Uh, but yeah, going back to the subject of Speeda for a minute, I'm going to be trading... I'm going to be treating the Zelmite Mine Speeda like I would be treating the um, Speeda in uh, Moonflower Palace. If I miss it, I'm going to do the floor again. And if I somehow don't manage to get it twice, I'll do it off screen. <laughs> Got you on the backswing. Take that. You think you can dodge me? Let's see. What are we at? Three? Not bad. I'd like to get the grade zero to at least plus five. Yeah. Alright, here's another new enemy. This one was actually in the first game. This is Dark Flower. Back to full bread already. Jeez, that was quick. But um, this is the Dark Flower. This was actually in the first game as well. Um, yeah, it can poison you with its little spit attack. I believe it can curse you with the uh, whip attack that it has, but... Overall, not a threat. It's basically just a man-eating grass. Looks like it broke one of my uh, antidote amulets. Oh, it's so nice to have the old battle theme back. to do the uh, leaping attack, but it didn't quite work.
pepper hot pepper? I don't think we've used that at all, like ever. Ah, if memory serves, the only real um crafting recipe that uses that is stamina drinks. And I don't think I've used yeah, recipe, that's what it's called. Um uh, I don't think I've used stamina drinks once this entire playthrough. that I gave you perspective monsters in Moonflower Palace. That should be plus five now. Yes, okay, so now that the grade zero is plus five, uh, for the next little bit, I can work on... Where are they? I can work on the poison wrench and the dit. Oh, those need evolving actually. Now that I think about it. Oh well. Well, I'll just have to do what I can then. Should check something. Was I working on any of these? No. No, you're all good. Yeah, no. Everything here is fine. So. Nothing wrong with this getting more, I guess. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Especially since that poison wrench still has a way to go anyway. But yeah, the monsters that live here in the Zomite Mine are tough with a cap with a capital T. You can see even the ultimate weapons still require multiple combos to bring down some things. Final bombs! I'm just gonna sell that for money. Cause, uh, ow. Ooh, careful. standing there was a really big problem. And I got soap, despite the fact that I don't think dark flowers can goo you. Pretty sure they can't anyway. Hmm, you know, as a precaution, may not be a bad idea. Take the camera off, and let's stick a couple of resurrection powders up there, just to have them on my hotbar in case I die. Because um, if you have a resurrection powder on your hotbar like that, and you die, it reses you. So since I don't have Monica with me, it would probably be in my best interest to have some life insurance. Literal life insurance. Let's see, well there's two monsters back there, so this shouldn't be too bad. Now, granted, I've never actually died with a um, resurrection powder on my person, so I don't know how exactly that works. I don't know if it restores you to full like it does in the first game, or if it's like it just stops you from taking lethal damage a la um, Second Chance and Once More from the Kingdom Hearts games. I'm gonna need to be careful, getting really low here. Sucks to be you, I'm out of range. Alright folks, this will be the last time we need to feed the fish. Eat up. And whom think will now be a female for the rest of her life. And we've got her stats where we want them, so come the next penny frenzy, we can actually do that final side quest. Ah! 
Fittingly enough, the last enemy drops the key to the trolley oil. Alright, let's find where the ball is. Hmm. I may have to come back. Guess the trap game. Oh no, you broke my already broken weapons. Or some flour. Nice. Might get lucky and have my health restored from the coin, but. No sense in banking on it. Ooh. Hmm. I'm debating whether that's even doable. Not without doing some serious shenanigans, I don't think it is. I'm gonna have to hope that it bounces off that post and gets into the next room, because otherwise I'm not gonna make it. Wow, it went the complete opposite direction that the uh, thing said it would. Um, there's a post in the way. Yeah, because that's like right on the other side of the wall, so I don't think this will work, but worth a shot. Yeah, this was a really bad speed of draw. Yeah, no. Had I had a little bit more power, I might have been able to get a second bounce and have it gravitate in, but no such luck. Okay, so I'm actually going to skip going back to this one. I want to make forward progress more than I care about that speeda. I'll do it off screen if I have to. Ooh, yay, Angel. Full health? Nice, thank you. But, um... There's a very good reason uh, to make more forward progress, at least at this point in time, than trying to backtrack just to do some speed. Up. So let's check. supernova. So I want to go grab Gerald and work on the supernova next. It actually does put me outside the zone my mind. Very convenient. Moon Mole. Oh boy, I get to deal with molars. but I hear a healing pool. Or at the very least, I hear running water. Yep, there's a healing pool here. This is what the healing pools look like here. So, nice. We at least have one of those going for us. And we don't have to feed the fish anymore! Yay! Oh, that's auspicious. We start with an empty chest. Lovely. to beat the fish anymore. That's going to speed things up a little bit. Alright, Malone. This is a, um... Yeah, this is a, um... Pumpkin head type enemy. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that, but, um... 
I know what this table is. But, um, Malone's, their special projectile, uh, it doesn't explode and it doesn't cause goo, it petrifies. So, if you can, uh, bounce the projectile back, uh, you'll be in really good shape. Because they're basically helpless. Alright, yeah, there's not gonna be any shooting you, you're just gonna have to come to me. There's no shooting molars, unfortunately. Trust that. There we go. Because I definitely want to avoid uh, getting unnecessary experience, if at all possible. No, but it does have poison, so if the poison procs, I'm going to have to be really careful. Hopefully I know Whitebeard's got enough HP to take it. for the grade zero. I'll have to swap to a different weapon if I uh, have to end up getting any more kills that way. Yeah, armband repair powder, despite the fact that Monica's not in the party. I'm sure that's not foreshadowing anything. Three now, right? Yeah, three. Come on. Throw your little petrify thing at me. Yes, your spurs and your rake are very nice. Now please throw your little orb at me.
Not you. Ooh, you're a bit too close. You're not, though. That's still a fairly sizable amount. I'm gonna keep the camera down here for the time being. Just because I will need it eventually. So many molars. probably get one more of those. Hey, the map, nice. Okay, good, none in here. One more level, but I don't think you'll be getting it here. That was a bit excessive. Whoops. Not messing with that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need to heal. I'm doing pretty good in that department. Looks like we have about three enemies left if the display is not bugging out on me. Yeah. Over here, Malone. No more molds. Oh, whoa, you're being a little slidey there, buddy. Hmm, that might kill him. Conveniently located ball. Nice. Okay, the hole's way down there. Let's see. Need to get it out of here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be really careful with this one. 
They're giving me just enough shots for this to work. Okay, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, but it's going the right way. You're not out of bounds. Oh. Right here. Oh, of course, there's a post in my way. Oh, lovely. You had to land in just a position where there'd be a post in the way. <sighs> not having good speed of luck here at the start. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I ain't getting this now. That didn't bounce the way I wanted it to. Uh, let's see. I don't even know if I can get it to bounce across that wall. I like how I said this speeder was easy, or at least comparable to Moonflower Palace, and I'm having this bad of a luck with it. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother at this point. There's no way I'm getting that. But no, it, it is on paper roughly as easy as Moonflower Palace, considering there's no holes in the side of the walkways. So, no way to... Well, it, you can out-of-bounds the ball here, it's just not as easy as in other places. Nice. Okay, so that's two floors I gotta get through with Speeda. I think we need to get to either, I think it's here or here is where we need to get to. Yeah. I think I'll go at least that far and then call it a stream. So I still need to work on the gun a little, so... Yeah, we'll be fine with Gerald still. Oh, wait. I want to talk to Cedric. Eric! Now, despite the fact that I don't need fishing bait anymore, I will still be talking to Fabio, because uh, fishing bait's basically free money at this point. And we're going to need all the money we can get. Actually, yeah, because I can pick up Cedric more or less anywhere now, so...
Grab Gerald and be on our way. Powerful frog. Let's see what we got here. I mean, that's more of a gem run than a frog, but sure, we'll take that. Wind Drake. I believe we saw the. Um... I believe we saw the Fire and Ice variant in Moonflower Palace, so we'll find the uh, Wind, Thunder, and Holy ones here. There's the frog. And that should get the supernova to plus five. Yes. Perfect. Gamal. This is a froggy, basically. a drake shooting at me while I'm trying to deal with this guy. Alright. Yeah, the supernova can afford to get a little bit of ABS. Alright, let's deal with you. Lots of enemies down here. Uh -oh. Wait, am I being attacked by three different Gemrons? I am. Oh dear. Or at least two of them are attempting to attack me. Ow. Ooh. There we go. You'll do. Get 
getting ganged up on can really mess you up. No more for you. Okay, fine, I'll deal with you first. Dodge! Oh, there's our oil. Don't want to kill him that way. No, no, no. Right. Wildcat can get more, because I need to get a bit to something. Uh, yeah. Wildcat getting more ABS or more uh, synthesis points? Not a problem. lagged for a second. That's how you can usually tell if the happy clown's gonna show up is it'll lag for a very split second. Okay, yeah. Too many of these guys. I don't know what's around the corner to the north, so not risking that. You're coming to me. Okay, it's a dark flower. Stationary, but still technically a sniping enemy, so... Makes me glad I didn't run in. Nope, too slow.
crystal. Not bad. Well, I've got the key. Open the door, please! down. Well, we're almost done here. Two enemies left and we'll be good. can take that. No, the hammer can. Oh, I'm hitting it with the wrong weapon. That would explain why. Okay, the sphere looks to be in a better spot this time, so maybe we can actually get this one, but we'll see. Gunpowder. And a map I don't need, thanks. shots and you're right behind a pillar. Okay. I just had to say something. I'm gonna see if I can get it down the middle here. Okay. I got it down the middle. That's the important part. This is at least somewhat closer to where it needs to be. Needed to get closer. I don't need it to. Oh, dear. Mm, that's bad. Okay. That's in a really bad spot. Let me try getting it. Oh, that would work, is the problem. Uh... Can I not move it? There we go. Can I bounce this off? I can but it doesn't go down. That's the problem. Um, yeah, all these angles shoot up. It doesn't want to go down. Let's try this. I hope that's hard enough. No, it's not. Oh well. That was closer than the last couple of attempts. Well, let's heal before moving on. It's here, it's convenient, you might as well take advantage of it.
Okay, yeah, no. We have one more floor to go, and then that should be it. So, Evil Bat Invasion. Uh, let me actually leave real quick and see what needs work. Should probably grab Cedric, so that way I can work on the wrench and hammer some more. Wait, why'd I go here? I could have just gone to any station and grabbed him. Oh well. No, don't return to the train. There's no reason to do that. He follows the train wherever it goes anyway. Interesting using a wrench, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be mostly flying enemies in here, but we'll see what we can do. Whoa! Those guys die really quick. Okay, how much do you have? Oh, you've got plenty. Did not mean to kill that one, but plenty of room to spare. Oh, you're kidding me. I thought I fixed that. It still didn't do the raid Simon? You're kidding me. Oh. Okay, look, you and I are seriously going to have to get together and try and get that fixed, because the method I tried clearly didn't work. Oh. But anyway, how do raiders? How are you doing? Ooh, here's a new enemy, Darker. These are darkness sooties, whatever you want to call them. Thank you, Koopo. We got a party here! I'm surprised that one over there is just ignoring me. Yeah, I don't know, because I've tried many different ways of fixing it, from refreshing it to getting a new, like, link or whatever, but... I don't know. It's getting on my nerves. That's all I can really say. But maybe whatever you do to fix yours will work with mine. Misses. I mean, it's the same as an issue that you'd have with any- oh wow, yeah, these guys are really resistant to the wrench. Yeah, this is the point in the game where resistances really start coming into play. Because, uh, as you can see, the wrench is doing diddly against these guys because they're heavily resistant to it. I don't know why it's specifically the raid alert that's not working.
mimics. I think it should be a bit early in the dungeon to see these, but whatever. I know you're not a streamer yourself, but do you happen to know anything about the, like, the data part or coding part of stream elements? Let's suppose you'd be able to help me out. Yeah, you should probably go to bed. Ooh, stamina drinks. Very nice. So I saw you come in, Song. How you doing? Night, Kayla. some way to fix it. There's our key. works with the tests. Like, if I force it to do, like, a dummy raid, it'll play it just fine. It's the actual raids that are the problem. left and we should be good to go. Thank you.
Oh, is my eyes playing tricks on me? I'm getting tired. I gotta keep going until we get to a very specific point fairly early on, and then I can call it a call it a stream. I feel, have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff off stream tomorrow. A surprise attack. You had to wait till I was looking at you to shoot me, didn't you? Some ambush predator you are. I see a bat. Kill the bat first, then worry about the chests. Come here, bat. Okay. These chests are mimic free. All right. That takes care of you guys. Falcon, something else I can work on at least. And I figured at least one of those was going to be the magic crystal. Okay. Provided there's no obstacles in the way, that should be an easy three, maybe four shot. Depends on the par we get. Okay, there's a chest in the way. Four shots, that's fine. No immediate obstructions. I can sail right over the chest. Or just fly right by it, either way. Let's do that. We don't want to hit it too hard. Hmm, probably could have gone for a nice shot there. Can I get this angled to where it goes the other way? Yes, please. That's probably going to be too much. No? That actually worked in my favor. Oh, I can almost get a clear shot. Um, let me just get it in the room. See if I can do that, maybe. Just to get it in there. Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's way too much. Wow! That actually worked? <laughs> well, okay. I guess if I'm going to have one Sphita win tonight, it's going to be the improbable one that wasn't supposed to work. Eh, one less thing to off-screen. Mighty healing. I'm full on mighty healing? Wow, that must have been a lot of mighty healing if... Oof. Yeah, that had to have been at least eight. Nine, that was probably ten mighty healing right there, considering I couldn't pick it up. All right, is the next floor the one I'm thinking of? Yes, miner's break room. Okay, this is the important one. This is what we've come all this way to do. 
This is probably the single most important room in this dungeon. Glad to have you. How did you get here? I asked Crest and she let me have a star glass. I used it and, well, it brought me to this time period. After what happened with Griffin, time travel was forbidden in my time. But hey, no sense in sticking so strictly to the rules, huh? I mean, technically you're queen, so I guess you have carte blanche to do that if you want to. Where are we anyway? This is the Palm Brink's mine. I'm just about to start looking for some Zelmite. They need it to expand the Blackstone Railroad. Sounds like fun. Let me help. Like I'm gonna turn you down. Okay. And yes, now we finally have Monica in the party. Yeah, all of the uh, Monica exclusive items weren't a huge tip off. She'd be coming back. Of course, she'd be coming back. They wouldn't let you run the bonus dungeon without your full party. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So I think that's gonna make this a good, uh, good spot to stop. So we'll continue with the uh, Zelda Lines proper in the next episode. Now that we have Monica back, we have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to call it here. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Thank you also, Kayla, for the raid, even though the raid siren still refuses to go off. But whatever. I'll see you all next time.